trying to figure out where to put one of the lasers that we got. We've always said we wanted to have another one and one for my home office. So we're gonna decide which one um, and then try to figure out where to put it. Blair wants to take one of the lasers to her house. I want to put at least one of the new, the new laser machines that we're gonna get because they're smaller uh, in my home office, not at this location. We're getting these two new lasers and we have always talked about having a small one at my home office. And so I was thinking possibly we'll figure out if one of those is gonna work out there. I've got space for it. The problem is, cause I think I'm gonna put it right here. I'm, I'm thinking about that it's only probably gonna take up like this much space or this much space probably would wanna put it centered on this right here. But it really, I mean, it should really only take up about like the table and then have it on there like four feet. And actually like I might, now that I'm thinking about it, I might get a bigger table just so I have more of a workspace um, so I can bring the laptop over. Yep, that actually makes sense. I'm thinking through this real time. I haven't opened one of them up and so, I'm thinking that's the one that uh, I'm gonna be bringing over here. So I haven't actually physically seen it to see its footprint. I mean, I, I kind of haven't, you know, we got the measurements, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like when you have something tangible and you can see it, it helps you really kind of better. For me personally, it helps me better per, uh, visualize where I'd want it and so, and how much space I need. So then I have no idea what kind of table. Something was stored. We only live about 10 or 15 minutes apart, but it is so nice if you have an idea, you don't have to get your clothes on, you don't have to pack up and go to someone else's house or, or to work. You can literally walk upstairs and try something out, you know, in the middle of the night. I, most of my ideas are 1.30 to 2.30 in the morning. I have to write them down immediately or I have to run down here and try something. Oh, and by the way, this is my home office. Uh, this is where I'm working on designs, emailing clients, paying bills, ordering supplies, all that kind of stuff, um, and doing research and more research uh, whenever we're not actually in Shannon's garage messing with the laser itself. But obviously I need an exhaust. The only issue is ventilation. Um, the closest window is to the front of the house. So, and we have HOA and I don't think they're gonna like that. Um, and then there's another window, but it's outside of the room. So probably gonna do like um, like a fume extractor, like its own thing. So I don't know, unless anybody else has a suggestion that could help me figure out the situation or this problem. And the my office is on the front of the house, and I don't and I don't have a bush because it's on the top floor to cover it up. Died. <laughs> <laughs> To hide the fan, to hide from, the like, fan. Like, like I have on the front of yes, my house. Yes, like you have on the front of your house. The only thing is, is I don't have a great setup for exhaust. This, you know, Shannon has this in the garage. Now the windows are on the front, but he's got bushes covering them up. So he can put the vent out the window and nobody really sees it and it doesn't look tacky. And you don't have to worry about HOA saying something. Us, on the other hand, um, I think we have some neighbors that would have a problem with it. So I was trying to figure out a way to make that either look nice or figure out a different way. What would be, so I'm gonna ask you, and I also kind of want, I hope like maybe our people or like the people who watch the videos can give us a suggestion. One of my thoughts was, at first I was just like, just put a hole in the side of the house. No, no, no I know. No. But could you do it in the ceiling? Because the attic access is in that room. Could you do it in the ceiling and do something out the top, or do you do I have to just figure out how to make it discreet on the window? That would be two things concerned about. One's gonna look junky. I don't know if you care about that. Two, if you're pumping, what's gonna look junky? An exhaust fan going into your bedroom, uh, going into your attic door, because you're gonna have to cut a hole. I'm somewhere. not talking about the attic door. I'm talking about the actual ceiling. Shannon thought that I was because I was, he knew that our ax, uh, attic access is right here in this room in my office. And so he was thinking that I was wanting to vent up into that door. But what I wanted was to vent into the attic and through the roof or either through like the crap. I don't remember what it's called, but not the, I don't know what it's called, but anyways, off the side, because I was up at the attic putting Christmas ornaments up and I'm like, I can see the outside. I feel like there's a way, but then that would still require 
drilling a hole in a ceiling and I don't know if that's what I want to do. So that it could be something that's covered oh, up later. Oh, cut a hole later. through the ceiling. Yes, like actually do a nice thing okay. and then go th through from the attic to the, the outside. Problem but is, then that's a lot of, I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. The, the problem is, is you're shooting potentially hot air and embers into your attic. Yeah, well, I'm saying up to the roof. Like, a, a, and it, um, this is actually like a full on project is what I mean. Oh, it's like I get see. hiring somebody to come in, but I'm trying to decide, is that better? Is that worth it? Or what I are would, other I options? I would do a little exhausting like we did on our window, just to start, to see if you uh, like yes, it. Yes, exactly. See if you like it, Obviously. see if it's something you want to do. She's, with with her having a office in her house, she does have a room that has a window. The problem is that window is on the front of the house. That could be an issue with the HOA. We're not sure. Um, it's kind of one of those, you know, you ask for forgiveness instead of permission. This is our house. <laughs> and that's the window that it would have to vent out of. And as you can see, it's the front of the house. And at Shannon's, where we're venting out, there's a bush right in front of it because it's on the garage. So obviously it's on the first floor. And so it covers that up, but there it's not gonna cover it up. And it's not, it's just not gonna be cute just to have that. And uh, we have crotchety HOA people. So, or just crotchety neighbors that would probably complain if I put that there. So yeah, faucet, is, is that what it's called? The faucet? No, I don't know, the part that's like got the ventilation up there below the, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> below the, whatever, forget it. But I think let's try to do a small vent out the front of the window. Just to, one, just get her set up in there and see if this is something she wants to do. Does she really want this in her house? We're not sure. If she does, we can set up a small vent and it can be just something you just open up the window, place the vent in the window and you only use it when you're running the machine, which would be, you know, an hour or two a day or whatever she's deciding to do, and then remove it. Nobody knows the difference. There's also options where you can have an inline fan that also has a filtration system. Okay. So it actually filters. You just have to replace the filters. Okay. I don't know how long the filters last, whatever. Okay. But you can buy those to where it just filters air back into your room. Okay. Or if she doesn't, if it, if it does become an issue, um, we could set in an inline exhaust slash filtration system, which will filter out all the fumes, anything dangerous for us. And we'll set that in our house and see if that's, she's okay with that. It could be, hey, that's a great idea. There's still a smell or oh, it gets way too hot. We just don't know what the side effects are. Um, there are people that do it all the time, and, but we'll just see if she's okay with it. I can start with outside just to test it out to make sure I want to keep the machine in the, if that's going to work. And then we can do that. So I knew... I knew asking him would <laughs> get, get me an idea and get me what I needed. It's Almost just loud, smells. but that's fine. It's just loud. Yeah, yeah. So okay, what, that's, I, I, that's would, I would try just those. right out the window first. Yeah. We'll just build you a little vent, mm -hmm. raise your window up six inches. We'll mm -hmm. just do a little port outside. Mm -hmm. If somebody's like, what is she doing? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until they say something. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you're like, oh, I really, I want to, I want to keep this up here. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Then let's put the inline fan with the filtration system. Mm -hmm. Since it's a really small unit, mm -hmm. I think that would be the best thing. Okay, yeah. I and knew then, you would have ideas, and that's what I wanted to ask you. Cause, and I don't think it's, I don't think they're that expensive. I don't yeah, because there's another option that right outside that room is a window on the side of the house that I wouldn't care. But that would require Go through getting, the wall. getting through the wall or getting through the door or some way, and then you'd have to track it all the way out. Which room is it in your house? The the front, if you're looking at the house, the upper f left bedroom on the front. Where the gym stuff was? Yeah. I thought you had, you do have windows. Yeah. But there's, it's on the front of the house. Okay, and I'm yeah. saying, yeah, 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 but yeah, there's yeah. a side window at the top of the stairs right by that door. Oh, no, don't do that. Do that. Do that. Let's do, do the inline system. Okay. I like that. I didn't even think about that being an option. Yeah. This is not the stuff I've looked into, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, when we first bought it, I just happened to be nosy and looking around. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then people are like, oh, we use this for the small because it's little desktops. Yeah. If we could set up a small laser in her house and make sure that it's that it's safe and there's no issues with, you know, uh, um, you know, potential fire or any type of uh, uh, fumes or anything that are dangerous for us. Absolutely. I think we need to set that up for her um, because she's got a lot of great ideas that she needs to get out of her head. Um, and I think that would be just convenient for her. All the blank walls. <laughs>
So this room is a work in progress. I painted it in January. It was a complete home gym and just like kind of a junk room. Emptied it out, painted it all black. Matt, my husband, even Matt, my husband even talked me into painting the ceiling, which I love and hate all at the same time. I love the way that it looks, but it does make it darker in here. But it's cozy. It's so cozy. Um, but I set up like just little desks, cheap desks that we already had. And then I couldn't find what I wanted. And then I just gave up and stopped. And now here we are ne the next January. Um, so it's a work in progress. I think I was waiting for another machine and then I could decide what and where and how and 